What's up guys, it's All Day Anthony, and in today's video, we are detailing and restoring the interior of this NA Mazda Miata. Let's go. Alright guys and welcome back to another Oddball Miata video where today we are finally tackling the interior of this 32 year old Mazda Miata. Now if you watch my previous videos then you'll know that this thing has had a rough last couple of years. From sitting under a tree and everything in between, this thing has accumulated a lot of filth. Everything from dirt and leaves, surface mold, all this just garbage and trash and everything like that that needs to be cleaned up. To be honest, I've been driving this thing around with the top down for a few days and everything starts kind of flying up with the wind. So before you know it, I have like a leaf in my mouth as well as dog hair and who God knows what else, but it's just pretty gross. So I've been dying to get this thing cleaned up as well as just restoring a few tidbits on the car. So for example, this steering wheel is still in okay shape, but you can see all the scuffs and things like that from alignment. So I wanna go back through and re-dye this outer leather here on the steering wheel to bring that back to life. And then this seat right here also has a pretty gnarly rip starting. So I am going to crudely attempt to kind of stitch that back together just to make it a little bit more appealing and I don't know, we'll kind of just see what happens. Other than that though, everything just needs to be thoroughly detailed and I have some products over there that I'm gonna go over here in just a minute. Uh, but first and foremost, I mean everything's just gotta come out of this car. Probably gonna throw away a bunch of stuff and see what other types of hidden treasures I find. For example, here's a cane. So there's that. What's on the cane? It looks like some type of spiderweb design. So anyways, I got that going for me, which is nice. So I'm gonna briefly go over all the products I'm gonna be using today, and then we're just gonna jump into this thing and get it done. So taking a look at the chemicals as well as accessories, everything you see here is gonna be used in conjunction with a rigid shop vac, as well as a McCulloch steamer and a Bissell extractor. But as far as the chemicals go, I have PNS Express Interior Cleaner. This is gonna be my go-to cleaner for the entire interior, everything from the plastics to the carpets to the seats and everything in between. Now on top of that, I also have Terminator, which is going to be an enzyme spot and stain remover. This is gonna be great for anywhere there maybe where there's surface mold or maybe some stains or some smells that I just can't get out I'm gonna be using this chemical right here I have some glass cleaner as well as a plethora of different brushes from drill brushes scrub brushes uh, boar's hair synthetic leather brush here and then I'm also gonna be using a crap ton of microfiber towels way more than what you see here but this is just you know for example there's just gonna be a lot of towels being used now as far as my dressing goes I have top star which is going to be the UV protectant as well as dressing for all the plastics. It's going to darken them, make them look a ton better and just add some protection. And then I have Color Lock Leather Fresh, which is going to be my dye for the steering wheel that I was mentioning earlier. And then I have a little bit of thread here to try or attempt to try to sew that driver's side bolster back together. So with that said, we have a lot to do today. There's going to be a lot of cleaning that needs to be done. I think I'm going to tackle the sewing first and then jump into all of the junk and garbage removal on the interior and then we're gonna go to town with a vacuum and everything like that so a lot of work to get done let's start with a little bit of stitching
All right, so for a 15 minute stitch job, that's not half bad. Do I know what I'm doing or do I know how to sew? Absolutely not. However, this is all sewn up, it's not going anywhere, and it looks significantly better. So with this done, we can finally move on to removing all of the junk out of the interior. All right, so time to clear out the junk. I feel like I'm uh, cleaning out a hoarder's mess or something. So uh, what do we got here? Trash, trash, sunscreen, I'm, I don't need that. Crappy microfiber towel, trash. I don't think I should throw this away. I don't know why, but set that aside. Uh, bezel for the radio, set that aside. Joan Jet, sorry, trash, mass, trash, pen. Still probably a pretty good pen. Keep that. License plate, keep that. Trash, trash, more trash. Ah, oh, dang it. Trash, trash, the iPhone cable. Keep. Uh, keep massive zip tie I'll keep that you never know some smokes don't need that <sighs> vacuum's gonna have to do most of this um, probably keep the oil filter is this a cutting board what the, what it, what is that? Trash. Trash. I got a bunch of CDs. <sighs> Joan Jet, your trash. The Sun Demons. Trash. Prince. Trash. A dime for my time. Trash. And let's clear this out of here for right now. Got my cane. Ow, God, it hit myself in the face. This is a dog leash. That was a tremendous amount of vacuuming. Oh my God. Well, it's all vacuumed up. It looks great. It looks so much better than before, but the leaves just kept coming and coming and coming and coming, and then here we are. But now that everything is cleaned up, now is the time to jump into the carpets with the drill brush, as well as the Terminator and Express Interior Cleaner. We're basically just going to liberally spray everything down, run that drill brush, agitate everything, and then use the extractor to pull out all of the nastiness. And I have a feeling that it's gonna be pretty nasty. I'm gonna save the seats probably for later just because I'm gonna be in and out of the car and I don't wanna be sitting on wet seats. And these are gonna be 
so gross as well. So we'll just kind of see from there. But yeah, we're gonna jump into the carpets now and then probably move on to the plastics. So let's get it done. All right, so quick update here. The carpets are clean, both footwells as well as the rear deck carpet here, and it turned out pretty damn good. Now, I will go over it one more time with a vacuum before everything's finalized, but I would say for not a lot of effort, they actually turned out pretty damn good. So I'm gonna move on to all the plastics as well as the dash. So I'm gonna start with the door panels first here, express interior cleaner, some brushes, get those all brushed up as well as this entire center area. Basically, I'm gonna brush first with express cleaner and then come back through with steam and then steam out all of the uh, extra residue or any type of dirt that was still left over. And so honestly, this has turned out pretty damn good. Let's keep the ball rolling.
All right, so quick update here. Everything's still going pretty smoothly. I got to this piece of Velcro right here where the glue had like essentially fused itself to the plastic. So what I ended up doing was steaming it, softening it up, and then taking a plastic razor blade and scraped off some of it to a certain degree. And then I kind of took a risk with a little bit of uh, essentially it's a tar and glue remover, but it's for exterior only stuff. And I'm like, well, what's the worst that can happen, right? I, it looks worse than it does. So I put a little bit on the towel and then just lightly agitated it. I was able to remove all the adhesive uh, from here as well as down here. And all of the plastics are still fine. So big score. Uh, for right now though, what I need to do before I jump to the trunk as well as the seats and dressing all the plastics, um, I need to restore the steering wheel. So steering wheels that are leather can be restored a couple different ways. You can either obviously reupholster them, you can cover them in suede, uh, but when the leather is still in somewhat decent shape and it hasn't completely deteriorated, there is another option here on a product I really like to use called Leather Fresh by Color Lock. And Color Lock's a leather specialty company and they create a bunch of good products. But this particular thing is like a dye that has like a filler in it. And so if you have any type of defects or scratches or whatever in your leather, what it's going to do is it's going to re-dye the area to black and also slightly fill it in just a little bit. Uh, I've used this stuff countless times and it's amazing, especially on steering wheels because uh, it is like a permanent, semi-permanent fix. So to apply that, we need to start with a clean steering wheel first. And when I mean clean, like you need to like really clean this thing. So I'm gonna take the Express Interior Cleaner here and then start making a mess. So you're gonna start going through with a little brush, preferably like a stiffer bristle brush, get into all the cracks and crevices and just start removing as much grease and things like that as you can. Your fingers leave behind quite a bit of crap on the steering wheel, so you just wanna remove everything so this stuff adheres properly. Take my towel and then we'll see. Yeah, you can see the steering wheel is picking up a bunch of stuff. And you need to do this like multiple times. It's not like a one-time deal. You need to get it to where the steering wheel is no longer shiny, but the leather is looking nice and flat-like. So we're kind of getting there. We need a little bit more to go. More product on here. And hit it again. Now this next step is something you don't really have to do, but what I do is I take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and then just do a quick little ring around the steering wheel just to remove the cleaner I used. And this kind of sets it up to accept the dye. Just like that. So, cool. All right, let's grab the goods and we will get to making the steering wheel hopefully look much better than it currently does. All right, so here's what it looks like. Color lock leather fresh. And then you're also gonna need a heat gun here. So throwing on my gloves just so I don't dye my hands. Give it a good shake. Then you're gonna find a good spot on your sponge. Start applying it to that. You don't really need a whole lot, about that much. Then from there, you're literally just gonna start blotting it on. This is about the easiest stuff that you can use and it's gonna fill in and cover all that stuff. And again, like I said, it's like a, it's like a permanent fix for the most part. I've had it last for, I think, years at this point on certain stuff that I've applied it to. Around, put a little more product here and it's best to dab it in, don't, um, don't drag it. I mean, you can, but you want that finish to look even, so you're just going to blot it in, get into all the kind of cracks and crevices, turn on my heat gun, and then you're just gonna heat it up, and this stuff will literally just evaporate into the leather. It's crazy, I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but, it works every single time. Yeah, it literally just, just dissolves into the leather. So then just check it out, and if you need another coat, which I do need another coat, we'll do another coat. So again, just apply more, 
and then just rinse and repeat. But this stuff, I mean, it's amazing. It'll pay for itself, I promise you. Um, it's worth every penny, but yeah, I don't know. So I'll let you guys know when this is done and we'll check out the final result. All right, so here's our final result after three coats of the Leather Fresh product. And I think it looks a hell of a lot better. I don't know about you guys, but uh, the marks are a lot less noticeable. The wheel just kind of looks steeper and darker and just generally newer. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And at this point it is dry to the touch, so I could just jump in the car and start driving. Uh, but they do recommend that you put a leather sealant on top of it. They have a product that's a specific leather sealant from Color Lock that you put on after about a day or so to kind kind of lock all that in if that's something you want to do, but I think this will be just fine for right now. All right, so quick update here. These seats are finished and they are soaking wet. So I wiped down the seat back. So a little bit of an interior quick detailer. And now at this time, I just need to vacuum the rest of the car one more time and then we'll let the seats dry. And then after that, I'll be able to knock out the glass and then we'll be able to see the final product here. But I think that this thing turned out pretty amazing so far. Can't wait to see it once everything's dry. And I also can't wait to drive it once everything is clean. So anyways, one last vacuum. Let it dry and I'll catch you guys after that. A few moments later. All right guys, so it is the following day and everything on the interior has set up pretty damn well. Well, everything minus the seats here. These things are still soaking wet, but other than that though, Everything looks awesome. Everything from the dash, the door panels, the carpets, the center console, all that looks so freaking good. But I think one of the biggest differences for me was fixing the steering wheel as well as fixing that little tear in the seat there. Everything just kind of tied itself together after seeing those fixed. But I can say that this is officially a very clean Miata interior and I can't wait to drive it without all the leaves and dog hair and everything like that flying into my mouth. So with that said, I owe you guys some after shots to show you the before and the after and how good this looked. So hopefully you guys learned something new in this video. Maybe you just found it entertaining or you just like seeing old stinky cars cleaned up, whatever it may be. But as always, if you guys enjoy this kind of content, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more, and stay tuned for the after shots. Peace.